Okay, what we're looking at here is this uh, isometric drawing over here. And what we need to do is to, uh, first of all, draw your fish tank to the major dimensions. That is this sort of reddish colored fish tank that I've got around here. Um, what I would suggest you do after that is you can see that, well, the top part of it, you can draw that in and then you can drop that down to make a separate little fish tank for this in internal part over here. All right, so I've got a green fish tank on the inside of my red fish tank. After you've done that, what I'd suggest you do is, well, you can see that you've got a very simple um, oblong base over here, a uh, rectangular base, and you can just draw, well, you can draw that side and that side in very quickly. And after that, you can get going with drawing whatever you're seeing over here onto your front view and whatever you're seeing on your left view onto your left view of that little green fish tank. Okay, what I'm going to start with is, uh, you can see over here that they've told you that you've got a 15 millimeter gap at the top to where that sloping side is. And if you look over here, this is also 15. If I've got a 15, 15 coming down, 15 going across, the angle that I've got here would be 45 degrees in real life. Okay, um, what I've done over here is I've measured back that 15 millimeters, okay? And then I can take my, 60 degree angle and I can draw a line going down to my fish tank, my green fish tank over here and same story on this side at that 60 degree. That 60 degree in an isometric drawing is the same as a 45 degree in real life. After you've done that, well it's very easy to draw in this part of it. Okay, and that line going across from there to there. And you can see that the rest of the top is very easily drawn in because you've got the fish tank. You can draw all of these lines going across there. All right, sorry about the uh, going over the mark there. Just gonna put some more lights on here. All right, I can drop a line down at the back over here. That's easy enough. Um, it then says that I come forward by 21 millimeters. So we come along to our ruler and we measure off the 21 millimeters over here. Bam that in there, you can draw a line going across there. Um, come over here, it says that I go down another 15 millimeters over there. Well, I can take that measurement from the top of my fish tank, swing it around, there's my 15 millimeters, and I can draw a line, construction line going across here. Um, it says that I've got 15 millimeters in the middle over here. Now I want to find the exact middle. How do I go about doing that? I'm going to take a line going across. Let me just do it with a colored pencil so you can see this. Line going across like that from the corner. Line going across like that. And a line going back at 30 degrees over there. That'll get you the middle. And I need to measure off 7.5 on either side of that. 7.5. Measure it off over there. Measure it off over there. And I know that I've got this thing exactly in the middle. I can now draw a line going up to my construction line that I did there, up to my construction line that I did there, and I can then darken in that little T part over there, over there, and I can finish it off. Line coming down there, line coming down there. Right, okay, the next thing that we need to look at is that it says that I've got 21 millimeters going across to that point on the V. So I can take my pair of dividers, measure off my 21 millimeters, come across to the fish tank, mark that off over there, and I can draw in this angle over here. There we go. Um, it says that the base over here, it says 15 millimeters, uh, 15 millimeters for that base thing. So I take my ruler, measure off 15 millimeters over there, come across to the base over here, mark that off, getting me that point, and that will go to a point somewhere up over there, um, which I can get quite easily by drawing a line, a construction line, coming across from that point, whoopsie, there we go, cracking my board, and a line going straight up to that over there. So I've got a point over there, and I've got a line going from that point 
15 millimeters away from there. The next thing is to try and figure out how to get a little V story in here. It tells me that I need to go 15 millimeters back. So we measure off our 15 millimeters. I said that that was 15 millimeters. So I come over here, measure off 15 millimeters there, measure off 15 millimeters over there. And now you're going, but how am I going to find that point at the bottom over there? They don't give you a, a, a distance up to that point, but you can see that they've told you that these lines over here are parallel and those lines are parallel. How do I go about drawing parallel lines when I've got, um, when I've got an isometric drawing? Well, that's pretty easy. If you take your ruler, line it up, take your set square at least, line it up on the line that you want, take your set uh, your T square off, and you can then slide down, drawing a construction line over here, coming down like that, swing it round, get your set square lined up on that line, slide it across, and you can draw a line going from there to there, in which case you've just drawn in the non-isometric lines, but at the correct angles, and you can draw that in very, very easily. Right, there we go. That is more or less this thing done. Okay, uh, we've got one last thing to do. I know that I have a little um, a line coming across from here. Remember, I need to have um, three lines coming out of each corner. So at this point, I've got got the one, two, and I've got another line coming back over there. How far back does that go? Sorry, I drew it in dark. Okay, so I've got a construction line coming across from that point. How far back does it go? Well, it's easy enough. There's that point over there, and I can then join that up with that story over there. Then I also have a line that needs to go from that corner to that corner, and we have basically done this drawing in no time at all. There we go. Um, I need to draw in a line over here. I need to count that corner. One, two lines going in there. So I need a third line going in there. Um, and I need to draw a line going back over here. For the base, I need to draw a line going back over here for the base as well. And there we go. That's basically your drawing done. Cool.